The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the people of Israel that they take for me a contribution. From every man whose heart moves him, you shall receive the contribution for me. And this is the contribution that you shall receive from them, gold, silver, and bronze, blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twined linen, goat's hair, tanned ram skins, goat skins, acacia wood, oil for the lamps, spices for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant innocence, incense, onk stones, and stones for setting, for the ephod, and for the breast piece. And let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell in their midst. Exactly as I show you concerning the pattern of the tabernacle, and of all its furniture, so you shall make it. The Ark of the Covenant. They shall make an ark of acacia wood. Two cubits and a half shall be its length, a cubit and a half its breadth, and a cubit and a half its height. You shall overlay it with pure gold. Inside and outside shall you overlay it. And you shall make it on it a molding of gold around it. You shall cast four rings of gold for it and put them on its four feet two rings on the one side of it and two rings on the other side of it. You shall make poles of acacia wood, wood and overlay them with gold. And you shall put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark and carry the ark by them. The poles shall remain in the rings of the ark. They shall not be taken from it. And you shall put into the ark the testimony that I shall give you. You shall make a mercy seat of pure gold. Two cubits and a half shall be its length, and a cubit and a half its breadth. You shall make two cherubim of gold. Of hammered work shall you make them, on the two ends of the mercy seat. Make one cherubim on one end, and one cherubim on the other end. Of one piece with the mercy seat shall you make the cherubim on its two ends. The cherubim shall spread out their wings above, overshadowing the mercy seat with their wings, their faces one to another. Toward the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubim be. And you shall put the mercy seat on the top of the ark, and in the ark you shall put the testimony that I shall give you. There I will meet with you, and from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim that are on the ark, of the testimony, I will speak with you about all that I will give you in commandment for the people of Israel. The table for bread. You shall make a table of acacia wood, wood. Two cubits shall be its length, a cubit its breadth, and a cubit and a half its height. You shall overlay it with pure gold and make a molding of gold around it. And you shall make a rim around it, a hand breadth wide, and a molding of gold around the rim. And you shall make for it four rings of gold, and fasten the rings to the four corners at its four legs. Close to the frame the rings shall lie, as holders for the poles to carry the table. You shall make the poles of acia wood, and overlay them with gold, and the table shall be carried with these. And you shall make its plates and dishes for incense, and its flag, flagons and bowls with which to pour drink offerings. You shall make them of pure gold, and you shall set the bread of the presence on the table before me regularly. The gold lampstand, the golden lampstand. You shall make a lampstand of pure gold. The lampstand shall be made of hammered work, its base, its stem, its cups, its calyxes and its flowers shall be of one piece with it. And there shall be six branches going out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand out of one side of it and three branches of the lampstand out of the other side of it. Three cups made like almond blossoms, each with calyx and flower on one branch. And three cups made like almond blossoms, each with calyx and flower on the other branch. So for the six branches going out of the lampstand, and on the lampstand itself, there shall be four cups made like almond blossoms, with their calyx and flowers, and a calyx of one piece 
with it under each pair of the six branches going out from the lampstand. Their calyxes and their branches shall be of one piece with it, the whole of it a single piece of hammered work of pure gold. You shall make seven lamps for it, and the lamps shall be set up so as to give light on the space in front of it. Its tongs and their trays shall be of pure gold. It shall be made with all these utensils out of a talent of pure gold. And see that you make them after the pattern for them, which is being shown you on the mountain, the tabernacle. Moreover, you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twined linen and blue and purple and scarlet yarns. You shall make, with, make them with cherubim skillfully worked into them. The length of each curtain shall be twenty-eight cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. All the curtains shall be the same size. Five curtains shall be coupled to one another, and the other five curtains shall be coupled to one another. And you shall make loops of blue on the edge of the outermost curtain in, it, in, the, in the first set. Likewise, you shall make loops on the edge of the outermost curtain on the second, in the second set. Fifty loops you shall make on the one curtain, and fifty loops you shall make on the edge of the curtain that is in the second set. The loops shall be opposite one another, and you shall make fifty clasps of gold, and couple the curtains one to the other with the clasps, so that the tabernacle may be a single whole. You shall also make curtains of goat's hair for a tent over the tabernacle. Eleven curtains you shall make. The length of each curtain shall be thirty cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. The eleven curtains shall be the same size. You shall couple five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves, and the sixth curtain you shall double over at the front of the tent. You shall make fifty loops on the edge of the curtain at its outermost in one set, and fifty, mo fifty loops on the edge of the curtain at its outermost on the second set. You shall make fifty clasps of bronze, and put the clasps into the loops, and, a, and couple the tent together, that it may be a single whole. And the part that remains of the curtains of the tent, the half curtain that remains, shall hang over the back of the tabernacle. And the extra that remains in the length of the curtains, the cubit on the one side and the cubit on the other side, shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle, and this side and that side to cover it. And you shall make for the tent a covering of tanned ram skins and a covering of goat skins on top. You shall make upright frames for the tabernacle of acia wood. Ten cubits shall be the length of a frame, and a cubit and a half of breadth for each frame. There shall be two tenons in each frame for fitting together. So you shall do for all. The, so you, sh so shall you do, for all the frames of the tabernacle. You shall make the frames for the tabernacle. Twenty frames for the south side and forty bases of silver you shall make under the twenty frames. Two bases under one frame for its two tenons and two bases under the next frame for its two tenons. And for the second side of the tabernacle on the north side twenty frames and there are forty bases of silver. Two bases under one frame and two bases under the next frame. And for the rear of the tabernacle westward you shall make six frames, and you shall make two frames for corners of the tabernacle in the rear. They shall be separate beneath, but joined at the top, at the first ring. Thus shall it be with both of them. They shall be form they shall form the two corners. And there shall be eight frames with their bases of silver, sixteen bases, two bases under one frame and two bases under another frame. You shall make bars of acia wood, five for the frames of the one side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the frames of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the frames of the side of the tabernacle at the rear westward. The middle bar, halfway up the frame, shall run from end to end. You shall overlay the frames with gold, and shall make their rings of gold for holders for the bars, and you shall overlay the bars with gold. And then you shall erect the tabernacle according to the plan for it that you were shown on the mountain. And you shall make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twined linen. It shall be made with cherubim skillfully worked into it. And you shall hang it on four pillars of acia overlay with gold, with hooks of gold on four bases of silver. And you shall hang the veil from the clasps and bring the ark of the testimony in there within the veil. And the veil 
shall separate for you the holy place from the most holy. You shall put the mercy seat on the ark of the testimony in the most holy place, and you shall set the table outside the veil and the lampstand on the south side of the tabernacle, opposite the table. And you shall put the table on the north side. You shall make a screen for the entrance of the tent of blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twined linen embroidered with needlework. And you shall make for the screen five pillars of Asia and overlay them with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold and you shall cast five bases of bronze for them. The bronze altar. You shall make the altar of Asia wood, five cubits long and five cubits broad. The altar shall be square and its height shall be three cubits. And you shall make horns for it on its four corners. Its horns shall be of one piece with it. And you shall overlay it with bronze. You shall make it, you shall make pots for it to receive its ashes and shovels and basins and forks and fire pans. You shall make all its utensils of bronze. You shall make, you shall also make for it a grating, a network of bronze, and on the net you shall make four bronze rings at its four corners. And you shall set it under the ledge of the altar so that the net extends halfway down the altar. And you shall make poles for the altar, poles of acia wood, and overlay them with bronze. And the poles shall be put through the rings so that the poles are on the two sides of the altar when it is carried. You shall make it hollow with boards. And as it has been shown to you on the mountain, so shall it be made. The court of the tabernacle. You shall make the court of the tabernacle. On the south side, the court shall have hangings of fine, fine twined linen, a hundred cubits long for one side. It's 20 pillars and their 20 bases shall be of bronze, but the hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. And likewise, for its length on the north side, there shall be hangings 100 cubits long, its pillars 20 and their bases 20 of bronze, but the hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. And for the breadth of the court on the west side, there shall be hangings for 50 cubits with 10 pillars and 10 bases. The breadth of the court on the front of the east shall be 50 cubits. The hangings for the one side of the gate shall be 15 cubits with their three pillars and three bases. On the other side, the hangings shall be 15 cubits with their three pillars and three bases. For the gate of the court, there shall be a screen 20 cubits long. of blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twined linen embroidered with needlework. It shall have four pillars and with them four bases. All the pillars around the court shall be fillet, filleted with silver. Their hooks shall be of silver and their bases of bronze. The length of the court shall be a hundred cubits, the breadth 50 and the height five cubits with hangings of fine twined linen and bases of bronze. All the utensils of the tabernacle for every use and all its pegs and all the pegs of the court shall be of bronze. Oil for the lamp. You shall command the people of Israel that they bring to you pure beaten olive oil for the light. The lamp may regularly be set up to burn. In the tent of meeting outside the veil that is before the testimony, Aaron and his son shall tend it from evening to morning before the Lord. It shall be a statute forever to be observed throughout their generations by the people of Israel.